Hey guys, yeah. it's me Lorenzo and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make 3D Minecraft thumbnails. Stay tuned and I'll show you guys how to do it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to have Cinema 4D and Photoshop. I have tutorials on how to get those for free in the description, second and third links down below. If you want to go check those out, just middle click with your mouse on them and it'll open a new tab. And once you're done with those, come back here and watch this video. First off, I'm going to say, if you do enjoy this video, go smash like and subscribe so I can make more epic videos just like this. And I really appreciate your support. So guys, the first thing you're going to do is go to the first link in the description down below. Click on it, download the file, and go to Master's O Thumbnail Pack. Once this is opened up, go to Mondas V3.1. Double click here and then double click the Lightroom. So after you opened up this part, go to FMR 4.0 and then drag this in here. And now double click here. And now you need to get your skin. So guys, I've shown this part in other videos, but you just have to type in Nova Skin. And the first link that pops up is Nova Skin right here. Click here. So you just type in your Minecraft username right here. There you go. Once you type it in and hit enter, just wait a bit and hit add to base. And now you'll have your skin right here. Just right click on this part, hit save image as, and you can download your skin. Now after you've got your skin, go back to Cinema 4D, hit skin file and go to this part right here. Wherever you save your skin, just double click it, and bam, your skin will load up like this. So guys, once you've loaded up your skin, what I like to do for my thumbnails is I add RMFK shoulder controls, and I turn off all of these face toggles here. If you guys have special skins, you want to turn on the hat layer and, and all of these layers here. But uh, I only have the headset and I don't turn it on because sometimes it messes up my armor toggles. And speaking of armor toggles, we're going to do that right here. All you have to do is go to armor toggles and you can turn on all of these here. I'm deciding I'm going to do that for this tutorial and you can too because it looks pretty cool. Another thing is I'm going to grab myself a sword we get a diamond sword real quick and there we go characters looking pretty good so guys once you have those enabled click on this rotate tool and then you can grab these shoulders so I'm gonna grab this guy bring him out turn him a bit like this there we go that looks pretty good I'm going to turn him a bit this way. And I think that's a good look for that arm. It's pretty easy to understand how to move all of these parts. Now just do the other side the exact same way. And now I'm going to move his legs. To move the legs, you have to click on the move tool here and click on the bottom of the leg. And you can drag with the bottom one here, you can go back and forth, and don't do up and down. Now you can just move these legs however you want, and once this looks good, you want to add some text. To add text, go up here to Mo Graph, and hit Mo Text. This part's pretty simple, just take the text, and make it whatever you want. There we go, that looks good, how to make Minecraft thumbnails. Pretty simple, align middle. And you have to change the font to make it look much better. Now just choose your font. I'm going to go for this Kenyan Coffee font. And I'm going to change the size of it. Okay, so now you click on this. Now you just click on the scale tool. Choose the text. And you can drag this down. And you can use the move tool. And there you go, it's right in front of the character. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the horizontal spacing so that the letters come closer together. I think one should be good for this. Go to caps and change cap to fillet cap for both. And now you change fillet type to engraved. Change the steps to 10 for both of these. And change the depth to like 15. This is all preference. I like to do this. You don't have to if you don't want to. Now we've got to bend the words. So click on Motext, 
and click this weird icon here. It'll expand it so you can click on all of these here to make all of the letters individual. And there you go, once all the letters are like this, you can make colors. So click create down here and hit new material. And you can make it whatever color you want. I'm gonna make mine red. Make a red one. Make a yellow one. Make a red one. I'm gonna make a blue one. I'm gonna make a white one. And let's say a black one. There we go. That should be good for my colors. Now, once I have these colors here, you can drag them on randomly to this to make it look cool. Make sure that every single one has one of these at least over here. Now, once all of these are filled with at least one color, you have to do it all over again. Now, once all of these letters have two materials, go to the second one, go to selection, and type C1. Now, once you now type it in every single one of the seconds. There we go guys, this text is looking pretty good. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. There we go, that's a good size. And now I'm gonna add Ben. So you just click on this Ben tool up here. And go to rotation and hit 90. Apply. Now drag the bend onto Mo text and hit fit to parent. Grab this orange dot here and you can bend the text. Now you can rotate it like this. Here we go, rotate and move until it looks good. Now once you think it looks good, you can click on this preview button and it'll show you what it will look like when you render it. that looks good but we're not done yet click on render settings right here go to save make sure it's on PNG and hit alpha channel now go to render now once you hit render it'll take a bit of time to render now once it's done rendering go up here hit save make sure it's on alpha channel PNG and hit ok choose wherever you want to save it I'm going to save it to my desktop and call it Thumbnail Bam. Now it should be right on my desktop and it should be clear. Now once it's like that, just open up Photoshop. Once you've opened up Photoshop, click File, hit New, and I have a preset for YouTube Thumbnail, make it 1920 by 1080 or you can do 1280 by 720p. Name it YouTube. Then hit OK. It'll be blank like this, but go to File, hit Place. Now find wherever your image is, right here. And it should be filling up the screen. And if it's not clear like that, make sure you go back to Cinema 4D and check your settings and make sure they're exactly like mine. Now you want to open up Google Chrome and find yourself a good background. Type in Minecraft Background HD. Go to images and pick one you like the most. I like this one, so I'm going to hit copy image. You go to Photoshop and hit control V. Put this one under that layer. Go to layer one, hit filter, go to blur and hit motion blur. And you want to turn this up to whatever you think look to whatever you think looks best. I think that's pretty good personally. Now you want to go down here and create two new layers. Put them at the top. Go to the top layer, select black here, 
go to your pen tool, change the hardness to zero and size to like 400. And you want to darken the edges of the thumbnail. Now you want to change the opacity, turn it down, let's say, change mine to 70. And then for this layer, I'm going to put this above and change it to white and put it in the lightest spot. And it's like you have another background light. You can also put this one above again. You can put more white over here if you want a brighter light. And you can also change up the opacity. Now you want to go to your file from Cinema 4D, double click here. Pick Drop Shadow and Outer Glow. I like to make the Outer Glow white. And these are the settings I use. You can copy those if you want. You can also change it by making the range big and size and then spread. And you can have this effect here. But I'm thinking I don't want to do that. I'm just going to have my normal setting. Now I'm going to add a little finishing touch by making this say 3, 3D. And I'm going to do the same thing with that. Drop shadow, gradient overlay. But I want to put this above here just so that it's brighter. Now I'm going to make that 3D part have an exclamation point to draw on the viewers. And for the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do color lookup. So you go here, click load 3D LUT. Now what we want to do guys is we want to click on this right here. Go to color lookup and in the pack I showed you in the Masters of Thumbnail pack, go to Photoshop filters and you can pick one of these saturations and stuff. These ones I still haven't named yet, but you can check those out if you want. But I normally use saturation right here or I use saturated A or saturated F or just saturation. But I like these ones. I like all of these, but I'm just going to use saturation right here. And there you go, guys. That's your completed thumbnail. Just go to File, Export. And if you want to use it in a video, make sure it's JPEG. And hit Render. And there you go, guys. Right wherever you saved it is your new thumbnail for your next video. If you guys enjoyed this video, go smash like and subscribe. And give me some feedback in the comments so I know how I did. And I can improve my next videos. But if you did enjoy, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.